for me, it's just a matter of you know, getting used to you know summer without baseball, working on the golf game a little bit. But I think next year, uh, the pursuit, hopefully, uh, you know, it's just an outlet for me competitively. I learned, uh, you know, my brother and I learned when I was in fourth grade. So I've been playing quite a bit, but uh, as I got further along in my athletic career, I kind of had to cut back on the rounds of golf during the season just because of baseball and everything. But, uh, you know, now the opportunity is uh, is there to kind of go out and play a little bit. And these are fun tournaments to just go out and have a good time, and it's for a good cause. If you have single digits, I'd like to get it down lower. Um, you know, ultimately I want to be a scratch golfer, but that's going to take a little bit of time. So, uh, you know, I've given myself this year to kind of work on it, and then next year hopefully I can get some tournaments. And, uh, you know, ideally I'd like to uh, try to qualify for the Open uh, in Pennsylvania here next year. I see a lot of baseball players, especially pitchers, are very good at golf, and I think the similarities between those two professions are, are very similar. You know, it's one shot at a time, uh, not getting ahead of yourself, and I think, uh, you know, in baseball it's very similar as a pitcher. You know, you can't get ahead of yourself, you can only control what you can do, and that's the next pitch. And it's kind of like golf, so uh, very similar, uh, and that's why you see a lot of uh, baseball players play golf. You know, most importantly, you know, you're playing with a group that uh, has paid a lot of money uh, to be in this tournament. It's about a good time. Uh, obviously, there's competitive uh, fire there for every group that's playing, but uh, ultimately it is for a good cause, and you try to have a good time. Make sure the people that are paying the money have a good time, and uh, you hopefully can win.